guys, so don't mind my no makeup face. And I put up my new background. I hope you guys like it. Um, so today I am going to do some nails, but I'm going to do something a little different. Well, I guess it's not that different because I've done an ombre before, but I'm going to be doing like an ombre with blue which this is Rosalind D127. This is like a royal blue, I guess I would say. And clear. So I'm gonna do blue on the base and then clear, like coming up to the tip. I'm going to be doing like pointed stiletto, not as long as stiletto. Like I'm not doing the really long ones that I usually do, just a little point at the, at the front. So I'm going to be doing these two colors and then right on the tip i'm going to sprinkle some of this um this is white glitter and i it's kind of textured so i'm like hoping it would look like snow so this is nicole diary dipping powder and it's number 14 so i'm excited to try that and i'm going to be doing it with like just sprinkling it on with a, a brush um so yeah, and then I'm going to be using these foils and these are snowflakes that I got from my AliExpress order and I'm going to be putting that on the, the two middle nails or just the nail, whichever I decide along the way. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today and I hope it turns out the way that I'm envisioning it in my head. So let me pan you down and we'll get started. Alrighty, so first I'm gonna start with this. This is um, Sparkle & Company, the pH prep. This is the dehydrator. I've already filed down and um, smoothed out my nails. So now I'm just, this dries them out so that um, things stick better. Like it gets rid of all the oils and everything on your nails. So I'm just gonna do that to all the nails and then I'm gonna get started on, I'm, I'm gonna do the next step off camera. I'm gonna be putting on the tips and um, filing them down and I'll show you which tips I'm using this time. I'm not using the ones I normally use. I am using these tips, the pointed ones. So I'm gonna go apply these and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I have the tips on and because I did so much filing, I'm going to use the dehydrator again just to get rid of all the like shavings and stuff. So next, I'm going to take my clear dip and instead of doing it over the whole nail like I normally do, and, I'm, and I have my bond, um, I'm going to put the bond on my thumb. Instead of doing what I normally do, um, by covering the whole nail in the clear, I'm just going to cover, since these are ex like really thick tips, I'm just going to cover the part right here where the tip isn't just to fill that spot in so that it's even all the way across and there's no dip down because I don't want that dip. So I am going to actually use, I think this base is, um, no. Okay, so I'm going to use take my base, open this too. Uh, I can't open it. All right, so I'm gonna take my base and I'm just going to place it below that tip line. And now it's one even line. 
So I'm gonna finish this off with the rest of the nails and then I'll be back with the color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this blue here. Again, this is the Rosalind D127. And I'm gonna take my other container and I'm just going to, first I'm gonna open it. Okay, so I'm just going to paint like up to here. And then I'm going to just like that. And I'm going to do that to all of these and then I'll be back with the clear. Okay, so now with the clear, I'm gonna bring my clear over here. I'm going to do the tip. And then I'm going to do this to all the nails and then repeat the process two more times. So the first layer looks like this. Now I'm going to do it again and I'll show you what it looks like after the second. So I ended up spilling almost my entire blue all over the carpet. So I will be having to reorder that color. Um, the jar got slippery and it just kept falling. So anyways, Here's what it looks like now. And what I did with like in between is I took the end of this brush and just sort of like brought it up a little bit so that it kind of like ombre up a little. So now what I'm going to do is put on the activator and then I'm going to file these down so that they're all smooth and not bumpy. And then we will move to the glitter. Okay, so here is what they look like now. So what I actually ended up doing was when I like filed them down and stuff, they got a little too thin. So I took my clear and I put a clear coat on top of all of them just to make them a little bit thicker and then um, filed them down to like smooth them out again and this is how they came out not exactly like i wanted them but pretty close um i washed my hands and now i'm going to put another layer of the dehydrator on because now i am going to add the foils so the foils need to go on before the glitter because i want the snowflakes to be underneath the glitter at the top so I have two types of foil glue. I have a regular one and one that needs to be cured in a UV lamp. I am going to use the regular one just because I don't really wanna drag my lamp into this room. When I do my top coat, I usually go in my bedroom and I do it. So it's just more relaxing for me to sit on my bed and cure my nails and watch TV than to sit here for however long it takes me and be bored so <laughs> um but yeah so I just put the dehydrator on and now I'm going to take this is the glue the regular glue I have and here are the foils and I'm going to take them carefully out and I'm going to cut a strip big enough for my nail this one is for my thumb. So there we go. And now I'm going to take the glue. Now this dries down clear. So I'm going to just, you just need a thin layer. And then you wait a little bit for it to get tacky. And then you place this on top and then peel it off. So I'm going to 
wait a little bit. I'm gonna cut out some more strips while I do that, and then I'll be back to show you. As you can see, all the white went away, it's dry. So you're gonna take this foil and stick it right on top. And then you're gonna wanna press down. Let me get my, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna take this tool right here and just press it down. All right, now let's hope that this works somewhat decently. I can see that one starting to lift, so that's a good sign. As long as the ones on the blue um, transfer, I'm good because the blue is the part that I'm most worried about because the top's going to have, um, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. part it came off let's see if this one can be better maybe I need more maybe I didn't do a thick enough layer okay so this one's dry Let's try this again. So I'm going to take this tool and just smooth it down. And I started this side so that I don't have to wait so long. For these to dry. And I'm gonna keep it like kind of stuck there for a little bit. Hopefully that sticks it better. And then I'm gonna put another layer on this now. Just so we're not, I don't want this to take forever. Okay, now, let's see. That's not staying. Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Push that piece down right there okay hey there we go that turned out a little better all right now i'm gonna finish these up and then i'll be back and here is how they came out they look so cute okay now it's time to add the little bit of glitter on the tips and then we'll be ready to cure them Okay, so I have my Nicole Diary number 14 white glitter, and I'm going to take, my nails are a bit sticky from the glue, I'm going to take this brush right here, and then I'm going to open this, and I'm going to just put it on the tip of my nail. Then I'm going to dip it into the jar of glitter, the brush, 
and then just lightly dust it on the end. And there you have it. I'm gonna do this to all the rest and then I'll be back. All right, and here's what it looks like with the light dusting of the glitter. It's supposed to meant to look like snow on the top. I love, love, love how it turned out. So now all I need to do is top coat. Hopefully it doesn't ruin this, you know, snow effect at the top. I'm pretty sure it won't because I don't know. I did top coat over the one that I swatched, so we'll see we'll see let's fingers crossed that it doesn't ruin the effect but it needs a top coat to it or it's going to get ruined so yeah that's all that needs to be done and then these will be done and here are the finished nails i love how they came out i'm so excited i'll post a picture here too of what they look like out in the sunlight So I'm pretty proud of these nails. I feel like I did a really good job. I haven't really done anything like this dip wise. So, and it's kind of, it's not the first time I've used foils, but the first time in a long time. The first time I used foils, I wasn't that great at it. And I only did it once. This is the second time and I'm super excited. And I have so many foils now and I have several on the way as well and i'm excited to use them because these are like in my opinion better than stamping so i i love them all right so that's everything and look they match my background so yeah that's everything if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and if you haven't already please subscribe thank you for watching have an awesome day bye